You know, the great community of Port Hope, Ontario has had a lot of successful major pro players. And uh, this skater more than fit the bill. Uh, a very consistent producer in the WHA uh, in the 1970s, as well as the early years of the Buffalo Sabres. Very strong on defense, 5'10", 170. Strong on the puck, uh, uh, strong defensive defenseman. Respect of his teammates and uh, uh, the uh, his opponents alike. Paul Turbanche came to major prominence uh, with the Ingersoll Junior Marlins of the WOJBHL in 64, then graduated to St. Catharines Blackhawks of the OHA. Over two seasons, he put up 52 points in 104 uh, uh, games. Uh, for, finally turned uh, minor pro in 66 with the St. Louis Braves and played 67 with the Braves, his rookie year uh, campaign, the CPHL, with 18 points in 63 games. Now, 68, the big call-up to Chicago finally came, because he had been on, uh, like the Hawks, signee for quite some time. 10 points in 68 regular season games, and 6 games in the playoffs. Now, unfortunately, in the next three seasons, he found himself uh, in, uh, mired in the, the Dallas system, eventually eventually found his way to the Buffalo system and played with the expansion Sabres for three games in 71. Now, 72, uh, he was back in Salt Lake for his second season, uh, but then was called up to Buffalo for nine games. Now, 73, uh, seven points in 42 games, and then a regular shift in 74 were 14 points, 67 contests. Now, Buffalo was going through a lot of transition in the, in the mid in the early to mid-1970s, I don't think Turbanche was on their long-term plans. Some rookies were coming in, decided to make the jump to the WHA, played with Vancouver in 1975 with 17 points in 60 games. 76, he shifted to the very popular Calgary Cowboys, where he had uh, 6 points in 58 games. Now, his career major pro campaign came in 77 with 33 points in 80 games, including 9 goals. Now, 78 was a rough campaign for him because he had he found himself with four pro teams that year Hampton and Springfield of the AHL Birmingham of the WHA then he started, he played for Houston in 78 in the playoffs ladies and gentlemen where the goal and assist in, uh, in two for two points in six games now he wrapped up his WHA career with another full campaign in 79 with the WHA's uh, Winnipeg Jets 25 points in 68 games and again, he won an AFCO Cup that year uh, with Winnipeg. Uh, Well-deserving uh, season, like the last season of the uh, the, uh, the WHA before it emerged. Now, 80-81, he wrapped up his minor pro career with two seasons in Birmingham, putting up 46 points in 100, 104 uh, games. So again, uh, respect the player with St. Catharines, respect the player with Buffalo, Vancouver, Calgary, Birmingham, Houston, Winnipeg, uh, you know, AFCO Cup trophy. Tremendous, uh, you know, results for a stay-at-home defenseman that the teams he played for needed him. They were, weren't expecting to score a lot of points, but on occasion he would uh, hit that big assist or big goal, and uh, much to the happiness of his teammates, because every time he scored, it was a big deal on the bench. If you look at the old tapes, it was uh, it was pretty cool. So, anyway, for final WHA, 82 points in 277 games, 18 goals, 10 points in 26 playoff contests. NHL totals 31 points in 189 games and 12 playoff games with no points. So uh, that's the uh, the legend of Paul uh, Turbanche or Turbanche if you're more Quebecois. Again, uh, the pride of uh, Port Hope, Ontario, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, died in uh, Coburg uh, in January 8, uh, 2012 at the relatively young age of 66. So hopefully uh, his fans will listen to this podcast. Port Hope is a very important hockey town for many people across Canada, and he's part of that legacy and should be saluted for it. To put, again, uh, Port Hope on a sports map like many people have as well. Thanks for listening. Bye.